Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher Cortman, and now for the Mental Health Minute. Are you a control freak? Do you like to be in control? You know, I think control has very negative connotations in our culture. But I want to use this first video of Are You a Control Freak to talk about when control is a good thing and why you should be in control. Let's begin with, there are three parts of your life that are important to control. What you think, what you say, and what you do. Those three things belong to you and you should control them as much as possible. For instance, what you think. As St. Paul once wrote, take every thought captive. Your thoughts, your mind belongs to you and it's important to decide where you wanna focus and what you want to focus on. So the research says, let's focus on things like positivity and optimism, like, like gratitude, like, like letting go of negativity, forgiveness. The research is full of take control of your head, be mindful, be in the here and now. That's all about taking control of what you think. And what you say, you are in charge of what comes out of your mouth. And what comes out of your mouth should be something that is commensurate with what you believe. The, the tongue should be used as, as something to edify people, to promote people, never to tear them down or to destroy them. What comes out of my mouth is, is my control. And also what I do, that's mine to control. And let me encourage you, take control of, of what you consume. That is what you eat, that is what you watch, what you read, that's yours. Because whatever comes in, that's what comes out. That's what you process. So I want to encourage you also to take control of your schedule. Are you productive? Are you getting things done? Are your days meaningful? Because your schedule is yours to control. So let me begin with control, when you use it in the proper way, is a very good thing for people who are happy and productive. In the next video, I want to talk about when control is not a good thing.